In this video, we'll be going through my top 10 favorite Pokemon of all time. So let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? I hope you're all doing great now. We are going through my top 10 favorite Pokemon of all time. Doing some fun little videos here on the channel around Christmas time. Sit back, enjoy my little top 10. Now, these are my own little personal favorite Pokemon. There's something about them, whether or not it'll be in the games, whether or not it'll be in the TV show, or even in the TCG. Just something about them really calls out to me, and they are my favorite Pokemon. Let's jump into it. Okay, in at number 10. Now, I know it's only at number 10, but it is Charizard. Now, I absolutely love Charizard. Especially Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. Now, a fun fact is my first game I got was Pokemon Red, and Charmander was not actually the first starter I chose. The first starter I chose was Squirtle. Now, that was the very first starter I picked in my first playthrough, and it was I was like, okay, this is fine. I really enjoyed it, and then I played it a second time. And I picked Charmander. It was difficult. It, it was tough uh, picking Charmander. You know, the first two gym leaders were really tough, but Charizard, when it finally evolved, which looked awesome, I was like, oh, how awesome is this? It is a it's a dragon how how cool is that and then i was like if it's a dragon that flies and then i saw it wasn't a flying type and i was really confused but yeah it is a really cool pokemon and it's iconic charizard is the second most iconic pokemon behind pikachu and it is really awesome it has some great mega evolutions really cool v maxes really cool shiny version everything about charizard is really cool and i do really like charizard that is my number 10 pick. Okay, number nine is another Gen 1 Pokemon, and it is a water type, and that is Lapras. Now, I do really like Lapras. There's just something about it. It was just really cool. It was a tough Pokemon in the games, and it is a great Pokemon to catch as well and to have in your team. And then down the line, it became a water slash ice type Pokemon. And it is great. It is a really cool Pokemon. I do like Lapras. And in the TV shows, it was really cool as well. I see an Ash with Lapras as well. I don't know, just something about Lapras is really cool. I do like Lapras. If I tend to play a Pokemon game that has Lapras in it, I tend to try and have it in my team. Got great stats in the games as well. It's just a really solid, good Pokemon. And it's just something about it. It just looks really nice, really kind of straightforward design, but really effective. And I just really like Lapras. In at number eight is a big fiery doggo, and it is Arcanine. I really do like Arcanine. Growlithe was really cool. Arcanine was really cool. And it's just something about it. I just really like it. It is a great Pokemon. Really easy to get hold of in the games. And it's just something about it is really cool. There's a really interesting, uh, kind of like a fan art I saw a while ago of what if Arcanine was a water type Pokemon and it just looked really cool. But just as a fire type anyway, it's really nice. I just like the look of the design. In the TV shows, it was awesome. In the games, it always seems to be owned by like the police officers, like Growlithe was owned by police officers and then obviously used the Firestone to evolve into Arcanine. And it was just cool. Again, it's another Pokemon where if I had to choose a team, pretty much in any game, I would go with Arcanine just because it's so cool, so iconic, and one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemons, and one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Okay, number seven is a Evolution, and that is Sylveon. Now, it is the most recent of the Evolutions. For the longest time, Espeon and Umbreon were my favorites. Now, the original three, Vaporeon was my favorite but Sylveon has taken the top spot for me. I kind of like all the evolutions, but for some reason, Sylveon jumps at me is one of my favorite Pokemon out of the evolutions. It just looks really nice. Now, obviously, Eevee itself is really cute and amazing. I don't know, Sylveon was really cool, and the fact it was a fairy type as well jumped at me, because I genuinely do like the fairy type. It's very strong in the games as well. So Sylveon was a very cool Pokemon. It was the hardest to evolve, I believe. I have all the evolutions, but it is really cool. I really do like it. I haven't really watched much of the TV show with Sylveon in it, but as cards go, there are some really cool cards I do like of Sylveon, which just look absolutely amazing. But yeah, Sylveon is my number seven pick. Okay, we're going back to Gen 1 now for number six. And there's a quite a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon in here. Number six is Gengar. Now, I do know that Gengar is some fan favorites, and it is mine. It is a very simplistic design for a Pokemon. But it really works and Gengar is incredibly strong in the games. Just something about Gengar, it's incredible speed, special attack, everything about Gengar is amazing. When it used to put your Pokemon to sleep and used to use Dreamy, oh it was so frustrating. And Shadow Ball and all the other moves it used to use. It was just annoying and even in the TV show it was annoying as well. It's just something about it, I just love Gengar. Really incredibly strong in the games, very iconic. The VMAX is crazy if you've seen the VMAX and the VMAX card as well. 
is just an incredibly awesome looking Pokemon over the top. Like I say, just Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar. Very simple. The only thing I don't like about Gengar in the games is the fact you have to trade to get it. And back in the day, it used to be like you would trade your Haunter, it would evolve into Gengar, and they would just keep it. And you're like, give me back my Gengar. But uh, yeah, it is a really cool Pokemon. I do like the look of Gengar. And it's one of my favorites. That's why when Fusion Strike came out, I was like, oh wow, they have Gengar and they have the Gengar VMAX. Don't own it yet, but I wheel down the line. But yeah, Gengar is my number six pick. In at number five, we have the all powerful Mewtwo. Now, Mewtwo is awesome. I do prefer Mewtwo than Mew. It's just something about it. I remember watching the first Pokemon movie, and it was awesome seeing Mewtwo in all its glory. And then watching Detective Pikachu as well. Just something about Mewtwo is just iconic. It is very cool. Very powerful Pokemon. I remember in the games, trying to catch it as well. It was just so powerful. And it, it defeated my team the first time I got to it. But yeah, it is really cool. Most of the time you tend to use a Master Ball on it. Just because it is that important to catch. But yeah, it is a really cool Pokemon. Mewtwo. I don't know, just something about it. Now as the cards go, Mewtwo actually has some of the nicest cards you can find. The shiny Mewtwo GX from Hidden Fates is an incredibly nice card as well, as well as some of the other ones from the Sun and Moon era. It's just a really nice Pokemon and it is iconic as well, very powerful. So yeah, Mewtwo comes in at number 5. Number 4 we actually have another legendary Pokemon it is from the Gold and Silver era and that is Lugia. So not Ho-Oh but Lugia, and again from the Pokemon movie, I think it was the Pokemon movie 2000, I might be wrong but I believe it's 2000. Just something about Lugia is awesome, it's just... It looks really nice. I mean, don't get me wrong, ho is really cool, but I, I picked up Pokemon Silver as the first one. It's one of my favourite legendary Pokemon, and I just think it's something about it. It just looks really nice, and I think to this day, more people prefer Lugia than they do ho -Oh. And then when they released Soul Silver and Heart Cold, I picked up Soul Silver and played through that, and Lugia is just amazing. I don't know, just something about it. It's just really awesome. I am yet to catch it in Shining Pearl as my playthrough is going through at the moment, but yeah. Lugia is coming in at number four. Missing out on the top three, we're coming in at number four. Okay, top three time now, and number three, we are looking at Tyranitar. Oh, I love this Pokemon so much. It is one of my all-time favorites. It is, if it's in a Pokemon game, I will go and catch it, and it will always be a part of my team. Super strong, really competitive in the games. Overall, just a phenomenal Pokemon. And yeah, overall, it is a great choice having your team in the games. Cards wise, the Sleeping Art Taranta is one of my favorite Pokemon cards ever. Don't own it yet, but I will get one. But I own quite a few Tyranitar cards and I do try and get more and more and build up my collection on it. But yeah, he, he is awesome. He's one of these few Pokemon where he's like a pseudo legendary. It's just something about him. He's just super, super cool. Okay, just missing out on the top spot is more recent version of a really old Pokemon, and that is the Alolan Ninetales. I don't know why, I love Ninetales, just something about Vulpix and Ninetales, I absolutely love, but I have a soft spot for the Alolan versions of both, but mainly the Ninetales, because not only is it ice, and I love ice type Pokemon, but it is also just really nice. It just looks so majestic, so gorgeous looking. It is a beautiful looking Pokemon. It's super cool. When I played through Pokemon Sun, I did pick up an Alolan Ninetales, just something about it is just really nice. Now, in the TV show, it looks awesome as well. In card form, I am slowly collecting every single Alolan Ninetales I can get my hands on because I want to have a whole collection piece, get them all graded, and it will look really sweet. But yeah, just missing out on the top spot, but Alolan Ninetales is in at number two. Okay, before we get into number one, if you enjoyed this video so far, guys, make sure to give this video a like. And if you're not subscribed, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and comment down below what is your favorite pokemon that's all i want to know just comment down below what is your favorite pokemon all right number one is the one and only the legendary bidoof okay okay no no maybe not bidoof it is articuno and it is the original articuno not the galar version although the galar version is really nice but number one is articuno it is my favorite out of all the legendary birds it is my favorite legendary pokemon period it's just something about it is amazing when i first played pokemon red and blue it was just something about it, it looked amazing it's ice type as well which is a massive plus for me it's just something about it it's just it's just nice i just love articuno now, the galar region version is very nice 
and I do like the look of it, but I'm slowly but surely collecting all the Articunos I can get my hands on. It is a beautiful, beautiful card, and it tends to just make nice looking Pokemon cards. Just something about Articuno, it's just so nice, just so good. So yeah, it is my favorite Pokemon of all time, and I really do like Articuno. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. This has been a great fun video to do. I want to know your guys' favorite Pokemon, so like I say, comment down below what your favorite Pokemon is. Thank you all so much for watching. Merry Christmas. You guys are legends, and I'll see you in the next one.